got a little time I want to spend on the charger. Uh, I'm not going to set the bar too high. I'm just going to install the front bumper on it. But I do want to show you guys how to install the front bumper. Not that there's anything tremendously magic about it or, um, or difficult. But you do have to be extremely careful when you're installing a front bumper on a 68 and 69 charger so you don't break your plastic grill. And you can see I've got some damage here in the corner. Um, but the main thing is these get broken off when guys get a little too overzealous. And we don't want that. So I'm going to show you how to install the bumper without breaking those. Sometimes I wish stuff would just be easy, and it isn't. All right, I don't know if the bumper's bent, but it seems to be spring-loaded where the bumper brackets are basically squeezing tighter than the frame of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up some of these bolts on the bumper brackets. I'll start with those guys, because that piece is keeping them kind of locked together. So if I loosen that, I'm thinking it'll help allow it to spread a little bit. If that doesn't help, I might have to loosen these guys from the main bumper so that the arm can kind of you know, spread out on each side. So that's where we're at. So this is what I want to show you. You see the corner of the grill right here. It matches up with the corner of the bumper. What I want to do is now that the bolts are started on the back of the bumper brackets, I want to swing the bumper up and I'm going to show you that it clears those corners. Basically, the bumper is going to come up above those plastic corners of the grill and then you're going to shove the bumper backwards. So it's going to overlap it. So this is the danger zone. This is where it gets very sketchy. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you that it clears first, and then I'm gonna swing this thing up. I'm gonna put two jacks underneath the car, and I'm gonna just slowly jack it up and use the jacks to hold the bumper nice and steady, then slide the bumper in, and then put the second bolts, the front bolts to the bumper brackets and get those started. Um, and then we'll position it so it's good and tighten it down and we're done. This is the plastic piece of the bumper. This is the metal fender. And pull the bumper up and point it towards the front, away from the car. And there you can see how it clears, basically goes into this shape of the bumper. Once we get it up here, then we're gonna push it back and put the bolts in. Or we can put the bolts in and get them started, and then push it back. All right, so, but before we do that, we're gonna get jacks ready to go. Now, it's possible this could probably be pulled off um, with one bumper jack, but I don't like how the bumper can swing like this, so I'm not gonna take my chances. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use two bumper jacks so that we don't risk breaking the grill. So you might want to borrow a neighbor's jack. You want to be extra careful like me. Okay. Okay. So the side's kind of beat up, so I'm not sure I'm gonna actually push it in all the way. Um, let's see, can I get to these bolts? Don't think I can. All 
All right, before I do this, pull the bumper back off. And just remember, do this in reverse when you're taking the bumper off. I didn't loosen these ones, I just loosen these two. To get at them, you really need the bumper off, so I just tighten them back up now that we have the rear bumper brackets on. Um, the ones down here need to be tightened, but I can do that once the bumper is in place. So, all right. in there so I don't have to worry about rust, future rust. And I shoved the bumper all the way in on this side so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this side down. side isn't exactly perfect because we got this big old dent right here there's actually a story behind that dent I might tell that story at the end of this video so this isn't perfect you know I think the grills kind of pushed in a little bit bumper or the fenders definitely pushed in so this isn't exactly tight around the plastic piece the other side will end up looking more like it's supposed to when we tighten that up all right, this side's all tight. We'll tighten up that side. And at the end of this video, I think I'll go ahead and tell you about this story. Before I tighten all these down, I'm gonna push the bumper back. have it see the plastic piece and the bumper overlapping each other that's how it's supposed to be and now we can pull these jacks out of here all right the story behind this dent shortly after moving out here to Riverside County from Los Angeles um, my dad still worked in Los Angeles and he carpooled with a buddy. Uh, I don't know, a couple of years after we moved out here, his buddy retired and was moving to Texas. And he had a 67 Camaro that he gave my dad. When my dad was unloading that Camaro off the trailer, the chain broke and the car rolled off the trailer and he was parking that car in front of this charger. So what hit the fender and the grill right here is the rear of a 67 Camaro. That was the height of that bumper and it just boinked it, jacking up the fender and jacking up the, fin the uh, grill. So you can see how deep that bumper came in. Basically this is double walled on the charger fender and it's to a point, so it's like really strong right here, and it just hit it pretty hard. <laughs> 